of Pinky. It's Pinky. That's funny. Down the street from Pinky's Automotive is a location that is relevant, very relevant to what we're talking about today. Uh, and we're on Cahuenga in, in Hollywood, and we're going to talk about Pinky, but not that Pinky, a different Pinky. This is the house where they filmed the TV show Happy Days. Actually, the exterior. And in reality, they were probably here for a day. Shot it from every possible angle, uh, every day, or every light, you know, uh, morning, noon, and night, and uh, so they can get all the angles. And it always was the establishing shot of the Cunningham home on the show Happy Days, which ran for 10 seasons. So the house has been used in lots of things. One time I was out here and they used it for a U.S. Postal Service commercial and they had a, uh, it was covered in snow, although it was uh, in the middle of summer. But uh, I'm not here to talk about happy days per se. There was, oh, and the, remember in the show, Fonzie rode his motorcycle up that driveway? I'm not here to talk about the show or its stars necessarily. It's one of the lesser known stars. Although I did meet Tom Bosley once and he was, a, he was talking about happy days and afterwards I asked him, or I told him, I said, thank you for selling your eyeballs to Joan Crawford and he lit up. He thought that was the coolest thing. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it was one of the best episodes of the Night Gallery, which was directed by Steven Spielberg. But anyway, uh, I'm not here to talk about one of the main people from Happy Days. I'm here to talk about one of the lesser known actresses. Her name was Roz Kelly, and she was supposed to be a fixture, fixture on the TV show uh, as Fonzie's girlfriend, Pinky Tuscadero. But for some reason, it didn't work out. It's getting late. What do you want to do now? And what did happen, you can see the chimney is, is uh, secured for earthquakes. Pinky Tuscadero, that's what we're talking about today. Raj Kelly. I'm in North Hollywood right now and talking about a story that happened back in the 90s. I think I was still living in England at the time. And a story happened, so, you know, some of the, most of the stories I have, uh, I do on my channel are about death and, and uh, but there are scandals too. And some are just loopier than heck. And this one I read about when I was in England and I had a friend that lived on this street at the time and uh, tried reaching him. I don't think he lives here anymore. But the, um, the incident that occurred in this street involved an actress by the name of Roz Kelly. Now, Roz Kelly, you might remember, uh, made quite a dent in pop culture history in the 80s when she appeared on the TV show Happy Days as a character that was supposed to be Fonzie's girlfriend by the name of uh, Pinky Tuscadero. And I think uh, it was a Gary um, uh, Marshall that came up with the name Pinky Tuscadero, named her after uh, some city that's in Los Angeles. I, the people in Tuscadero are probably going, how dare you? But uh, but yeah, it was, I think he got it from a local uh, geographical place. And, uh, and he, she was supposed to be Fonzie's girlfriend, all dressed in pink. She was the sister of Leather Tuscadero, who was played by uh, Susie Quadro. But uh, Pinky Tuscadero made quite a splash on Happy Days. It was probably at the height of Happy Days, and it was the height of Fonzie craziness. And uh, she was supposed to become a regular on the show, but she had disagreements with the uh, producers of the show and also um, maybe some cast members, I think. And she was in a couple of, actually what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cheat a little bit and I found her Wikipedia page. I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, her Wikipedia page. I'll talk a little bit about her, uh, where she was born. Her name was Ross Kelly, born Rosalind Schwartz uh, in 1943, best known as Pinky Tuscadero uh, on Happy Days. She, da, 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 da. she was an actress between 68 and 1983. Before Happy Day, she worked as a photographer, uh, photo photographing Jimi Hendrix, Soupy Sales, Andy Warhol, Cream, Leonard Cohen, Neil Diamond, and Diane Arbus. Uh, she played Carol Pinky Tascadero, older sister Susie Quattro Leather, and was going to be the long-term girlfriend of Fonzie. I think we covered all that. Now, after Happy Days in 77, she starred in Blansky's Beauties, which was a show that didn't run very long. 
Uh, she had a small but memorable role, they say, on uh, a TV show thriller called The Black Curse of the Black Widow. Uh, listen, one other thing. I got the analysis back from my friend at USC. He doesn't know what it is. It explains everything. Oh, that's good. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sure was created when Paul Michael Glazer planned to quit at the start of the third season. And uh, her character was supposed to fill his place, but he was persuaded to stay. So she didn't have a lot of luck. In, uh, in, uh, she was in the Paul Lind TV special, which you remember at the Halloween special, which if you've never seen it is absolutely insane. He plays a witch and Margaret Hamilton's a guest star. Oh, it's, it's just nuts. Well, Margaret, your sister is a witch. Out of here. Oh, that route toad. I'm Marion Kinky here, honey. How's that for a ring? Oh, Ruby, Ooh. where did you get that? It's, Woo! Off, it's off my truck. It's a lug nut. <laughs> okay, okay, over here. On November 29th, 1998, she was arrested because of this incident that I'm here to cover. Now I'm going to turn this around. Now, when I came here to do the story, I thought I was going to have to go way into the street. And I was a little bit paranoid because I didn't want to wake anybody or disturb anybody. Uh, but it turns out I don't have to because her house uh, where she lived was just over there on the, the last one on the right. This is a street called Lemp in uh, North Hollywood. And uh, I'm going to tell, I'm going to read this story about what happened that night. The story was written by Bob Poole. Who among us, jarred awake in the middle of the night by a neighbor's blaring car alarm, hasn't lain there wishing someone would blow the wretched thing to smithereens? But who among us has actually grabbed a shotgun, gone outside, and blasted the noisy alarm into silence? Actress Roz Kelly did. According to the authorities, Kelly, who is 56, will be arraigned on Monday. This was in February of 1999 uh, on charges that she shot up two neighbors' cars and fired into one of their homes after allegedly being repeatedly awakened by a wailing car alarm. Uh, she's best known as Pinky Tuscadero. She remained in jail in the lieu of $305,000 bail since the incident took place in, on November 29th on this block. She says she shot from the hip as she pumped a buckshot into an Acura owned by a neighbor and a Mercury Topaz belonging to another neighbor. And she allegedly walked up to the one home and smashed a window with the barrel of her 12 gauge Winchester shotgun and fired into the living room. There, the three lived in a single story fourplex. That's this one right here. In the comments published by a national tabloid, Kelly explained that she just snapped after their car alarm kept going off and keeping her awake. She said she was trying to catch up on sleep that she missed the previous night because of the car alarm when it went off the night before, awaking her from a deep slumber. Uh, she said she suffers from chronic pain from a knee injury and she suffered in the early 1980s and from eight subsequent surgeries. I never meant to become Annie Oakley and shoot up the town. I just wanted to escape from the pain which is constant. Now, one of the residents whose car was that got shot up uh, said, I've heard of people going after cars with a sledgehammer, but not a gun. Uh, he, declined to, he declined to discuss the case while it was pending, except to say it was uh, the alarm of the neighbor that angered Kelly. Of course, it figures. Somebody coming right here, that always happens. Always, always, always. One of the gentlemen, a wholesale leather uh, salesman, denied that his car alarm malfunctioned. Uh, he said he'd been offered up to $3,000 by tabloid television to tell the story because that's what happens in Los Angeles. Uh, in testimony during Roz Kelly's January 11th prim preliminary hearing, he recounted how he looked back, saw Kelly standing next to his car with a shotgun. She shot the driver's side of that window. She, she shot twice after that. 
she got between the two cars and shot again. She hit the dashboard, the mirror, and the airbag on the passenger side. Now, Roz was actually living in the second one. And the neighbors were that one, 5610 and 5606. Now it says that uh, the high that has kept Kelly at the Twin Towers Jail, that's downtown, is typical for such cases, the deputy said. Kelly will enter her plea on Monday's arraignment. Was, so this was one of the people that had a car. This was Raj's house. And the other car was there at 5610. He said Kelly would be sentenced up to 60 years in a state prison if found guilty, although she could also be given probation with credit for the time she has served in the county jail if it is found that she extenuating circumstances such as her mental state contributed to the shooting rampage. So the cars were out here. Now, I found a follow-up article that I saved. And this one says, I'm going to go back because it's a little bit noisy here. So this is where the cars were. The follow-up article I found says, the happy days are here again for Roz Kelly. The former sitcom star is out of jail and she's been forgiven by one of the victims of her bizarre shooting rampage, which took place right in front of her house. The flame-haired actress who played Pinky Tuscadero was breathing a huge sigh of relief after nearly a year in the slammer. It was torture, absolute torture, she said. Her nightmare began last fall when she was awakened by a car alarm in her North Hollywood home. Kelly admits she snapped, grabbed her Winchester and blasted two cars that were parked in front of this house. She was sentenced to three years in prison, but was released after a judge ruled she needed psychiatric treatment and probation. The, uh, the people who lived here uh, forgave Kelly, saying bad things happen to good people, and I believe Roz is a good person. The uh, Roz Kelly now has an apartment and hopes to work her way back into acting. I don't know what I was thinking, she said. Now, one last thing I'm going to add to this story. You know, Roz is long gone from television. Uh, this was something else I found after this. This is like a year later. On October 27, 2000, she was sentenced to 120 days in jail after pleading no contest to charges stemming from an August 20, 2000 arrest for hitting a man with her cane. When I made this video, uh, when I was on location, I got confused and screwed up some dates. Raj was sentenced for the incident involving the car alarm in October of 1999. A year later, in August 2000, she was arrested again for hitting a man over the head with her cane. Raj had befriended the man, described as a homeless man, who she later said, quote, frightened her, end quote. She became so fearful that she changed the locks twice to her apartment and asked if she could sleep in her apartment complex laundry room. Raj was sentenced to 120 days in jail for the assault. She was credited for the 98 days already imprisoned since the incident, and also mental health treatment, including therapy and prescription medication for what is now defined as her bipolar disorder. So I hope she's well. She's, I don't know where she lives now, but I hope she's well and um, retired. And that's quite sad. She had a lot of television and film credits, but those three episodes on Happy Days cemented her, I think, in pop culture history. So much so that there's actually a Happy Days themed pinball machine. And considering it was only three episodes, uh, according to Pinside.com, she features quite heavily in the artwork of that pinball machine. 
I think a lot of boomers remember Roz Kelly, and she gave us some great entertainment back then. So thank you all for watching. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for your attention. And until next time.